Father, in the name of Jesus, everyone that is watching our movies, Lord, that is subscribing, that is liking them, and that is sharing, and will comment, bless them with long life. Bless. I have subscribed. You have subscribed. I have subscribed. Ah, thank you, brother. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Father. Bless them with long life. Bless them with good eggs. Bless them financially. Bless them with everything that they need in life. I have commented. Oh, you have commented? Yes. Thank you, brother. God bless you. you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I believe you can do more. Bless them in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Bless every one of them with you. I've shared. You have shared it? Oh, thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. As you can see, everyone is subscribing, commenting, and liking. So, what are you still waiting for? Comment, like, and subscribe. As you do so, God bless. What's up with you? What is the problem? Hmm. Friend, can I trust you? Of course, yes. What are friends for? I have a serious issue bothering me. I know it. It is written all over you. Go on. Someone very close and I respect is making evil advance at me such that he wanted to force himself at me <laughs> if not for god <laughs> maybe see i'm confused i don't even know what to do the best thing to do is to run away from such person or else what if it's someone you can't run away from if it is someone you can't run away from you cannot arrest them with police you better go report to your pastor before it become what's it? The man in question is the pastor of our church. I'm not getting you. <laughs> the person you are talking about, your sister's husband, uh, the pastor. Yes. A pastor is the branch of our church where we worship. And I don't want to tell my sister. Or oh, else, the house will burn. I will just advise you to leave the house. <sighs> don't wait until terrible things happen to you. <sighs> you know, I never knew such people exist until I had a similar experience. Kike, Kike, how are you now? Uh, where do you think you are going? Please, don't start this again. Come on. I beg in God's come name. On, come on, Kike. I swear to God, if you touch me this time around, Kike, I'm going to hit you quick with this. Eh? Okay. Kike, drop that thing. I will not drop it. You want to choke me? That means you are ready to go back to where you came from. I don't care. Kika, drop that thing. I, I will not drop I it. I said drop that thing. I will not drop, drop it. that thing. <sighs> ah! Kike, so is you. Is you that killed my husband? Hey! Uh, madam, madam, please calm hey. down. Calm down, please. Hey. Calm hey. down. Please. Hey. Please. This is unbelievable. Ah, there is no problem, Kike. I will hand you over to the police. Eh? Kike!
Uh, uh, no, madam, please, eh? please calm down. Eh? Because uh, when Kike ran to my office, eh? she told me that that was not the first time that your husband was violating her. Violating her? Yes, she Kike? said the last one was the fourth one. Eh? Kike, is that true? I'm in this house, and my husband has been violating you, and you cannot tell me oh. if you are not enjoying it. I was afraid. I was afraid. Afraid of what? Kike, you are afraid of what? I'm so sorry, ma. Ah, you are sorry. You are not sorry. Oh. Yeah. Leave my house. Uh, uh, ma Madam, please. Leave my house. Madam, please. I beg you in the name of God. Let us employ God's counsel God. to lead us in this matter. I beg uh, you, counsel of God, Pastor. Please. Counsel of God. After killing my husband. Madam, please. Leave my house. I say leave my house. Ah. What nonsense. That was our my apart. And I have since realized my mistake. I should have reported to our pastor immediately after the first encounter. But I was afraid. I was afraid of being sent out. I don't want to go back to grandma. As an orphan, raised by a grandmother, I saw the old woman struggle to cater for me. So I decided to become a housemaid in order to raise money for my education. That's serious. <laughs> It was with much persuasion and begging that the woman allowed the issue to lie. Hmm. That even makes mine to be more complicated. How hmm. do you mean? You know, the man in question is the pastor of our church. You mean? Yes. And I don't want to tell my sister or else the house we burn. Sorry. This your so-called pastor, the same person that you call your sister's husband, and the same man that wants exactly to... Exactly my point. I will advise you to leave that house as soon as possible before that man forces himself inside of you. My dear, you need to flee for your dear life. But what will I tell my sister? Well, God will teach you, friend. Don't wait until you are molested before you take action. You need to flee for your dear life. But what will I tell my sister? <sighs> From the boobies, what pastor should be doing, what members should be doing. Ah, I appreciate the name of the Lord for the movie that you just watched. Flee, though very short, but as a message. And I feel in my spirit that God wants me to add something to that movie. You see, when it comes to the issue of fornication and adultery in the Bible. The Bible, the Word of God, that happens to be the standard, the reason for our living, for Christians, has given us a solution. The solution that the Bible puts down for us to follow is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committed fornication sinned against his own body. So, the word of God is very clear and categorical about the issue of fornication. You have to flee. I'd like you to borrow a leaf from the life of Joseph. Joseph, when he was cornered by his master's wife, Potiphar's wife, the scripture says the woman heard unto him. The woman cornered Joseph in such a way that Joseph could not escape. 
and to the point that the woman held onto the garments of Joseph. Now, what did Joseph do? Joseph knew that he could not struggle with the woman to get his garment away from her. So, what did he do? He left the garment for the woman. And let me tell you that the garment Joseph left in the hand of that woman became an evidence against Joseph. Permit me to quickly say something here. Every evidence in the hand of your enemy, every evidence that the enemy is using against your life, today, the Lord sent fire to burn them in the name of Jesus. I set them ablaze in the name of Jesus. Every evidence that your enemies are taking a rant against you and you are innocent, the Lord sent fire to catch them and burn them off in the name of Jesus. So, let me come back to the issue of Joseph. Joseph left the garment with the woman. Why? The reason is because he knew he would get another garment. Joseph could do away with his garment. He could do away with other material things. But he knew the importance of his vision. He knew the importance of his dream. If he had slept with Potiphar's wife that day, he would not become the prime minister because his destiny would have been truncated. His dream would have been terminated. So this is why when it comes to the issue of fornication, you need to flee. Dear brothers and sisters, if you perceive that someone is making evil advances at you, the scripture is very categorical about it. Flee! Flee! Don't wait and be speaking in tongue. Don't wait and be praying. Don't wait to test how spiritually vibrant you are. This very scene has brought down many giants in the kingdom of God. The issue of fornication does not know anointing. He doesn't respect anointing. The only thing he respects is the word of God. And what does the word of God say about it? Flee. Don't play with it. Don't try to pretend. That is not the time to pretend. Are you a man of God? Are you a sister in the Lord? Are you a brother in the kingdom of God? Are you a sister serving the Lord in the vineyard of God? And you perceive these things are going around you. Please, my advice to you is to flee. Until next time, by the grace of God, the pooping matters will come across your way. I remain yours faithfully. See you next week by God's grace. I love you and I know Jesus loves you more. Thank you and bye for now. Thank you for watching today's episode of Poop It Matters. Until next week, that another fresh episode will come your way. However, I want to ask you, have you subscribed? If you have not, please subscribe now, like the video, drop your comment and share with friends. Meanwhile, there is a project we are embarking upon in our ministry that seems bigger than our capacity. Bible says, ask and it shall be given. I am asking that you, our viewers, will support us with your weakness might to push out this project for the people to see. As you do so, you are also helping us to further the work of evangelism. God bless you as you do so. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
Galatians, Galatians from the 